Christy with another week of ITC Answers, Answers from Inside the Convent. You might notice that I'm in a different room. Sister Rosemary is in Italy for two weeks with Sister Karen, our other formation director. They are having meetings in the Vatican, so they're fancy. And we've moved rooms so that we're closer to the other sisters while she's gone. For this week, we've got five answers for you. The questions are all below, so you can see what we're going to talk about, and we'll get started. September 20th. Ta-da. My freshman year of college, I would have been 19, and I was dating this boy who I thought I was going to marry, was madly in love with him, and we were laying out under the stars on this blanket, and I turned to him and I said, what if I'm supposed to be a nun? And he, you know, paused for a minute, and then he looked back at me and said, you'd be my favorite nun. I was like, ew, don't say that weird. <laughs> but that was it. That was the first time it really popped into my head out of nowhere, really. And that's kind of what it continued to be for the next eight years or so was just this idea that would come up. It didn't matter if I had a boyfriend or I was single, I was engaged even, and it came up again. I was like, oh, what if I'm supposed to be a nun and I'm getting married and I'm ruining my life? I don't think that's normally what girls who are getting married think about, but um, for me, yes. So the necklace I wear, I've shown you guys before, so this is Our Lady of Divine Providence. It's an image of Mary holding the infant Jesus. Um, it's kind of our icon. It's what we use for the daughters here. On the back it says, uh, in tua providencia. So it's in your providence. We are the daughters of St. Mary of Providence. And the first part of that name is that we are daughters. We believe that we are all, you know, daughters and sons of God. but. Um, in a special way, we devote ourselves to that relationship with God and with Mary, being the one who distributes the providence of God. We ask through her intercession that God provide all of our needs. And, you know, it's part of Jesus' prayer in the Our Father, right? Give us this day our daily bread. So just in our name and our symbol, you know, of Mary with Jesus, we remember that we are her child and, too, that we are called to be providence to others, that we are called to be mother, sister, and friend to all of God's children, to all of these people in our spiritual family. Music is actually a big thing for the Daughters of St. Mary Providence as well. That was one of the things that really drew me to this order when I came. Sister Beth Ann talked about, you know, oh, we sing in our daily prayers, we sing with Mass, we sing in our holy hours. We sing at the table when we're praying. So there's all kinds of different ways just in our daily lives and our prayer that music comes into it. And then working with the residents as well, I'm able to sing with them and dance and be silly. I'll bring my guitar over sometimes and play with them. And all of the sisters here are musically inclined, which has just been huge. Our, the other postulant is a great musician. Um, our mother provincial is a musician. Our mother superior. Sister Rosemary, she's a beautiful singer. Everybody here has such an appreciation for music and that's been really wonderful for me to help kind of feed and nourish my soul in that way. So the last question I added on because it's kind of time relevant um, was how do the sisters and postulants spend Holy Week and Easter besides attending Holy Mass? So. I would say that primarily what makes Holy Week special is our own personal devotion. We are invited during that time to find extra quiet, find extra time to meditate and reflect on Christ's passion and, and the days leading up to His crucifixion. We continue with daily Mass, adoration, we pray the Rosary, we do the Stations of the Cross every day. So just in our daily lives we are constantly looking to the cross. We're constantly looking to Christ's passion as part of our spirituality. So in Holy Week, to make it special, it's really about our own frame of mind and our own devotion and intention in that prayer to really meet Jesus in a new and in a special way and to give him more of our time. And then of course we have, you know, a special brunch and we cook and we eat together and we do special things with the ladies. Um, they have a big lunch as well and we do Easter baskets and 
um, all kinds of fun little things too. But in terms of spirituality, it really becomes about your own personal devotion and then bringing that reflection into community, into our spiritual reading and conversation when we share about our meditation and reflection. Okay, well that's it for today. Thank you so much for all of your questions. We've got three more coming up next week and more behind that. So please feel free if you have any questions, write them below. You can email me, write me a letter, however you want to get those to me. Thank you guys to everybody who's been praying for me. I know I asked for a prayer request a couple weeks ago for everyone um, discerning religious life. And I wanted to just say thank you. Things have been really good here. <laughs> and please continue your prayers. Uh, I know I have felt the impact of them, and I'm sure that other people have as well. So um, thank you, keep it up, and I'll be praying for you guys, and I'll see you next week. Bye!